The Ag Minute on This Week in Louisiana Agriculture is brought to you by your Louisiana propane dealers. Fuel for our future. March is National Flower Month, and whenever you bite into that fluffy piece of bread or whip up a batch of your favorite cookies, I doubt that any of us take the time to realize all of the time and work that went into developing the flower product we use today. Great Grains, March is National Flower Month. Since the beginning of civilization, flour has been the staple of cuisines around the world. When our ancestors discovered they could crush grass seeds into a fine powder, they dined on flat, hard cakes cooked over a fire. Then, in 3000 BC, the Egyptians figured out how to harvest and use yeast, creating soft loaves by fermenting the dough with heat from the sun. Luckily, we do not have to grind the grains ourselves anymore. As news of this innovation traveled, the Romans created water mills, and with the industrial age came the technology to mill the flour in large quantities. Today, wheat milling especially has become a global industry with a great responsibility. It now constitutes the basis for feeding one-third of the world's population. From biscuits and gravy to cakes and cookies, most of your favorite dishes just wouldn't be complete without flour. Some of our most popular dishes in Louisiana start with a roux base. And to make a roux, you need butter or any source of edible fat and, of course, flour. Well, moving on to this week's Twyla Trivia, last time our question was, what year did airplanes begin serving frozen meals? And the correct answer is B, 1944. This week our question is, whole wheat flour from the grocery store is usually missing which part of the whole grain? Is it A, endosperm, B, whole, or C, germ? To enter this week's Twilight Trivia Contest, simply log on to your Facebook or Twitter account and post your answer with the hashtag Twilight Trivia. Or you can always submit your answer on our website at twilighttv.org. 